everybody, welcome to the patch 13.15 preview, now with all the numbers. In this patch, numbers are changed, adjusted, up and down on your favorite champions. That is generally what a patch is. This is a preview, not a review, meaning this patch is not live, and it won't be live, not even for one week. After one week, it will be live with changes in the patch. Do you want to know what's in this patch? Then you'll have to watch this whole video. Do you want to know my opinion? Then once again, you'll have to watch this video. First up, let's read the tweet. Sorry, the, the X. Because we're now on X.com. Matt Luang Harrison X's out. Full 13.15 preview. We're still getting fine tuning on the summon champion changes, but the intent is to reduce the effectiveness of smite on them and decrease their durability respectively, meaning that instead of only junglers being able to deal with pets, most champs will. What is in this patch? Let's look. Up front, we have Caitlyn. Her passive crit chance ratio is going up. The crit damage ratio on her ultimate is going up. That means that Caitlyn will deal more damage for building crit, which she typically does. Okay. Camille, the attack damage growth is going up. The amount of damage she gets on her ultimate is going up. The amount of damage that Camille does is going up. For those of you who don't know, when Camille ults you, she does a small amount of flat damage, then um, current health damage in uh, magic. The amount of damage she dealt was only 5, 10, 15, so it was very unnoticeable. Now it will be 20, 30, 40. In other words, pretty noticeable. In other words, Camille should be able to beat the crap out of people way easier in her ultimate. She'll also do more damage because she'll have more damage as she levels up. Gwen is getting more health regen. In addition to that, the resists she, get, she has in her W are going up. That 17 to 25 armor and magic resist to 22 to 30 armor and magic resist. Nami let me uh, full screen this. Nami is getting more damage on her Q from 75 to 295 to 90 to 310. Getting hit by a bubble is going to leave you in trouble. In addition, the amount of movement speed by her passive is going up from 90 to 100. And then from 20% AP to 25% AP. That's more movement speed. Talia's Q is going up in damage, 5 flat. Then her E cooldown is going down at rank 1. Then the amount of damage her E does to monsters is going up. What does that mean for you, Talia means? It means you'll be able to throw another rock on a lower cooldown. Yasuo is uh, getting more shield at level 3, 6, 9, and 16. And then I guess it equals out uh, after that. Yone is getting more shield forever. Why? Because these champions are very, very popular. Like, really popular. Riot is nerfing Aatrox because they promised they weren't going to buff and Sorry, they weren't going to nerf any more top laners. Now, they are nerfing top laners. Did Aatrox deserve it? Yes. Ironic though that they said we're not nerfing any more top laners and now they're nerfing top laners. If you would think about it, that means that they are nerfing top laners, making them liars. Riot liar video games. Their pants constantly a lit of fire. Ivern, large list, but mostly focused around moving him off Night Harvester and onto Enchanter. Not listed here, so I can't go over it. Kaisa, her base health, down by 30. The amount of damage she gets per missile, down by 10% ability power. Haha. -ha. Also, the amount of cooldown refund she gets on her W, from 77% to 75%. Much less cooldown reduction, a whole 2% downgrade her q down in ability power ratios if i look at the amount of ability power ratios she has right now it is much more than this so um 
I, I can't really math it out, but basically Kai'Sa will deal slightly less damage with slightly less AP with slightly less cooldown reduction on her W. It uh, doesn't do a lot. It does help bot laners when they want to beat Kai'Sa. For everybody that wants to fight Kai'Sa after the laning phase, she'll mostly be the same. What does this mean to you? Not a lot. You'll be fighting the same champion. Maokai's damage to the jungle is going down. Because he's overpowered? No, because of pro play. Pro play, ruining League of Legends since 2011. Sejuani, is she overpowered? No. So why is she getting nerfed? Pro play. Pro play, ruining League of Legends since 2011. Shivana, is she overpowered? No. Why is she getting nerfed? The low ranks. The low ranks, ruining League of Legends since 2010. Annie, Tibber stats, down. No longer has an AP ratio on Tibber's armor and magic resist. Tibber's health, down. AP ratio, down. Unfortunately, this means that Tibbers will deal less damage. It will actually uh, take less damage. Why? We'll go into that later. Heimerdinger, the amount of health that his turrets have going down. How much down? A lot. From 25 to 200% AP ratio to health to 50%. Wow, that's a lot less HP. The armor from 10 to 80 to 30 to 90. This makes his turrets much tankier early game. Why? Because Riot hates you. They hate melee champions. They hate you. They hate you a lot. His magic resist up. Why? We'll go over that later. It seems Heimer will be nerfed with ability power. Yorick's Maiden, ha, crossed out waifu. Why? It's hilarious, I guess. Maiden stance now gets health regen, armor and magic resist from zero to 10 to 50. Health, uh, down. Like way down. What? Am I missing a vetch down here? Wait, what? Okay, so her health is going from 350 to 3,300, plus 75% of Yorick's health, to 400 to 1950, no health ratio. I assure you, I'm not reading this wrong. I'm not doing a bit right now. Did they... F <laughs> Surely they didn't just leave it. Level 18 Maiden is 1,950 health with with no health ratio, right? Surely, surely they didn't. Am I reading this wrong? Um, <laughs> uh, quick, go to a commercial. <laughs> Something's wrong. <laughs> nope. They wow. They actually know. Okay, wow. We. Glacial Augment, the slow, baseline down from 30% slow to 20%. How much AP ratio? Doubled from 3 to 6%. How much AD ratio? Not doubled from 4 to 7%. Ability power, it's better than attack damage. Additionally, the heal and shield power has not been buffed. What does that mean for Glacial Augment? It's been nerfed. It has been nerfed. Night Harvester. Uh, now triggers on auto attacks, direct spells, and pets. No longer indirect effects. Cool. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to be targeting, but auto attacks, spells, and pets. I guess it doesn't affect dots, but if you put a dot on someone, it would just... Wouldn't it just apply on the dot? Oh, static shiv. Night Harvester, it no longer procs on Static Shiv. What does that mean? Nerves. What does that mean for you? LeBlanc, she's nerfed. Why? Because Riot thinks that Static Shiv was good for the game. Riot, they dug up Static Shiv. It was buried deep beneath the ground. And Riot, they found it. Attached was a note. It said, do not bring back the Static Shiv. The Static Shiv will kill us all. Riot ripped off the nerf and said, wow, what a great item Static Shiv is. We should bring it back. The note in the ground, pleading, do not bring back Static Shiv. It will break the game way worse. Smite on champion pets from 600 to 1200 to 20 to 160. 
20% movement speed for 2 seconds unlocks after tier 2 smite. It appears smiting minions it won't do any much anymore. Well, I should say smiting champion pets. Smiting maiden and tibbers and heimer turrets. It won't do much. What does that mean? These nerfs mitigated, except for Yorick's Maiden. Why? Because it went from 3,300 plus 75% of Yorick's HP to 1950. Wow, that's a big nerf. That's almost one third of the health it used to have. That really sucks to play as. My heart goes out to you, Yorick players. You won't have a fun time anymore. And that is this patch preview. Um, we'll see when these changes go live. I'll go into them more in depth. For now, I kind of doubt that a lot of these are going to go live as is. Why? Because a lot of these are really dumb. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.